Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses from yesterday. And your yesterday's quiz question was School Education Quality Index SEQI SEQI is launched by which organization? And the answer is it is launched by Niti Ayog. That is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day iFlows Mumbai, recently seen in the news, is an initiative by 1. Ministry of Earth Sciences, 2. Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation, 3. World Bank and 4. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Option A 3 and 4 only, Option B 1 and 4 only, Option C 2 only and Option D 1 and 2 only. Guys, the correct answer here is it is Option D 1 and 2 only. As we all know, Mumbai has a history of flooding during extreme rainfall events. It had faced massive flood in uh, July 2005 and recently in 2017. According to Global Report on Internal Displacement 2020, nearly 5 million people were displaced in India in 2019 because of disasters related to southwest monsoon and cyclones. And iFlows is a monitoring and flood warning system that will be able to relay alerts of possible flood prone areas anywhere between 6 to 72 hours in advance. And the Ministry of Earth Sciences has developed the system with in house expertise and coordination with Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation BMC. And guys, this Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation was also in news uh, with related with uh, this Kangana Ranavat property demolition case. And uh, this iFlows is a system that can provide all information regarding possible flood prone areas. Likely height and flood water could attain location wise problem areas across all 24 watts and calculate the vulnerability and risk of elements exposed to flood. And uh, note that Mumbai is only the second city in the country after Chennai to get this system. Similar systems are being developed for Bengaluru and Kolkata. And we will now see how this system will work. The primary source for the system is amount of rainfall. But with Mumbai being a coastal city, the system also factors the tidal waves and storm tides for its flood assessments. And the system has provisions to capture uh, the urban drainage within the city and predict the areas of flooding. And the system comprises seven modules. Uh, you can see the screen, the seven modules, data assimilation, flood, inundation, vulnerability, risk dissemination module and decision support system so that is about iflows now uh, it's time for quiz question in today's quiz question is we have discussed about global report on internal displacement 2020 so the question is uh, this report is published by who which organization so please uh, post your answers in the comment section we will now move to second question Second question is with reference to amoebiasis, consider the following statement. Statement 1, it is a parasitic infection of colon. Statement 2, it spreads through drinking or eating uncooked food. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A, 1 only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, both 1 and 2. And option D, neither 1 nor 2. Guys, the correct answer here is it is option C, both 1 and 2. Both the statements are correct. Amoebiasis is a disease caused by parasite Entamoeba dystolica. And Entamoeba histolica, according to World Health Organization, it is third leading cause of morbidity and mortality due to parasitic disease in human. And predominantly, it is infecting humans and other primates. And uh, this Entamoeba histolica is estimated to infect about 35 to 50 million people worldwide. It causes amoebiasis and uh, or uh, amoebic dysentery, which is highly prevalent in developing countries. And amoebiasis infection is most common in tropical areas with untreated water. And guys, it is it spreads through drinking or eating uncooked food such as fruit that may have been washed in contaminated local water. And if symptoms occur, they may be mild and include cramping and diarrhea. It can be treated through through and antibiotics. And recently, the researchers from Jawaharlal Nehru University (JNU) has developed a new drug molecules against Protozoa entamoeba histolica that causes amoebosis. So that was in news recently, that's why this question is asked. We'll now move to last question for the day. With reference to Regional Maritime Information Fusion Center, RMIFC, 
consider the following statement statement 1 it works under the aegis of indian ocean commission statement 2 it is based in seychelles and statement 3 it is designed to deepen maritime domain awareness by monitoring maritime activities and promoting information exchange and sharing so which of the above statements is are correct option a one and two only option b two and three only option c one and three only and option d one two and three guys here uh, the second statement is wrong so our answer is option c one and three only so the regional maritime information fusion center it is based in madagascar not in seychelles it is designed to deepen maritime domain awareness by monitoring maritime activities and promoting information sharing and exchange and guys india is planning to post naval liaison officers at the regional maritime information fusion center and also at the european maritime awareness in the street of hormuz in abu dhabi for improved maritime domain awareness and this move comes after india joined indian ocean commission as observer in march 2020 along with Japan and United Nations and the information fusion center of Indian Ocean region has been set up by Indian Navy in December 2018 within the premises of information management and analysis center in Gurugram and it is to track maritime movements in the region and uh, IMAC that is information management and analysis center is the main center of Indian Navy for coastal surveillance and uh, monitoring and IMAC is a joint initiative of Indian Navy Coast Guard and Bharat Electronics Limited and functions under National Security Advisor. So please note that. That's all for today guys. We'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions. Please post answer to the quiz question and just post in the comment section. Thank you for watching.